So it's from 16 right to 16 left, tension 4, 16 rows, and then I pick up the hem. I pick up the mock rib hem, filling in the empty needles as I go. After I pick up the hem, I turn the tension to 6 and 2 clicks, and then I knit 20 rows for the back of the ankle of the sock. To shape the heel, I set the machine for short rowing, and then I'm going to bring out the needle that is closest to the carriage to hold position and knit across. On the other side, as I begin the next row, I do it again. I bring out the needle that's closest to the carriage and knit across. And then I get the next needle and knit across. I continue in this way, decreasing one stitch at the beginning of each row until only 14 stitches remain in work in the center of the knitting. I will need to hang a weight up here because this will get loose. Once I get down to 14 stitches, I begin to increase by wrapping under the first needle on the carriage side and then bringing it back halfway, knitting across. I do that again on the opposite side, going under that needle and then over the rest and then bringing it back halfway and knitting across. I continue to increase in this way until all of the needles are in work. That finishes the heel. Now I knit 40 rows for the foot, just plain knitting. Now I'm going to shape the toe in exactly the same way that I shaped the heel, decreasing down to 14 and then increasing back out until all of the stitches are in work again. Let's have a look at what we've got here once I finish the toe. Here's the heel, the back of the ankle and the heel, and then here's the foot and there's the toe. At this point I begin to knit the top of the foot and I do a sew as you go technique to join the top of the foot to the two sides of the bottom of the foot by picking up a stitch on the opposite side of the carriage every single row. It is the loop from two rows below. So I do that one and knit to the right. And now I do the one on the left. And it's hard to see what I'm picking up, so let me get in close. So to figure out what loop to pick up, you don't want the one on the hook or the loop just under it. The loop under that is pulled open. That's because I've already picked it up and that pulled it open. Then there's a knot and a loop. That's the one I want. And I knit from left to right. Same situation on the left side. I don't want the one on the, on the needle, of course, or this one here because it's not far enough down. It's already been pulled open and picked up. What I actually want to get this time is the one after this knot, and I just put it on the needle and knit across, and I'll do it again. On the right hand side, this is the big loose one. I want the one below the knot, below that. And on the left hand side, I want the one below the loose one. The loop, not the little bitty knot. 
Now I'm going to just keep doing this and knit my way up the foot. After a while I get to the heel. See this? So I'm just going to pick up one loop at the heel. You have to be careful not to pick up too many times in that little heel area. Just one loop each row. I've now knitted my way back to the hem along the top of the foot. So I need to put a hem in to match the first one as much as I can. And what I like to do is pick out every third needle and sew it off. I have a contrasting color um, threaded on a needle. So I'll just poke the needle through a stitch, pull the stitch all the way back out of work, and sew it off. And I will do that across the knitting. Before I begin to knit again, I check to make sure that all of the needles that I sewed the stitches off onto this green yarn, that they're all back in A position, out of work. I set the carriage back down to tension 4 because I'm making another mock rib hem. And I knit 16 rows. Now I'm going to pick up those stitches that I sewed off and I just use the yarn that's in them to help me get a tool in them and I put them on the empty needles. And I will do this across the row before I pick up stitches in between these. Now the green yarn will come right out and then the next job is just to pick up a stitch in between each one of these and pick up one on the outside of each of them. Now I'm just going to cut the orange yarn and I'm going to sew off these stitches. Now you could do some kind of a bind off, but I've been pretty happy with just doing this simple little thing where I poke the needle through the stitches and then pull the needle out and sew that through and get the next one. And after you practice a little bit, you can pick them off this way. Which is really very fast. It doesn't really look perfect sewed off that way, but I like it because it doesn't add as much bulk to the sock around the ankle. Here's that finished sock. All it needs now is a seam right here, mattress stitching around that cuff and mattress stitching around the cuff right here. And there it is, UT Orange Little Gym Sock.